my name is Kylie and today I'm going to be doing a mock interview with approximately about six questions um, for the position at Brooks Running and the title of it is North America Social Media Specialist. The first question is how do you envision your role in the position um, contributing to the overall mission of our organization? Um, at Brooks, you know, it's our number one goal to be inspiring um, to runners, to be active, you know, to run happy. Um, so for me, I think it's just making sure that we're listening to every single customer uh, and making sure that they're getting what they need. Um, so, you know, if someone posts something on Twitter or Facebook, no matter what, um, you know, we get with them within about 15 minutes or so um, and make sure that they are connected with us, we're connected with them. They know it's personable and that we are giving them that running lifestyle that we want to, um, you know, give out to them. We want to make sure they're still excited. Um, even if it's a problem, you know, we're going to make sure that we fix it, um, whether that be talking to customer service, um, going down into the Brooks Trailhead and making sure we have a shoe for them, um, you know, or even if they're like, hey, I had a great run with this shoe, you know, we can definitely reply back saying thank you so much for using our brand. Um, so I think with that, you know, just making sure that run happy um, slogan is used as much as possible, which is part of our, um, which is a part of our mission as an organization at Brooks Running. Question two, how would you go about establishing your credibility with the team? Um, as being a part of social media, or about being a part of a social media specialist, um, it's so important to be honest, um, having great communication. I think being a supportive team member is one of the most important things. And also listening. Um, you know, listening is how you learn. It's how you, uh, you know, get along with people um, on a team, basically, like especially within Brooks Running. And I think the expectations need to be met as well. So make sure I'm establishing myself not only um, as a new person within their team, but having them know that I have their back no matter what and that I will be working as hard as possible to meet the expectations that they want me to um, have. And I think it's so crucial that all those things are met. Um, you know, it does take a little while, obviously, but I think that with all of those, um, that it can definitely be a really good thing on a team and um, that I'd be accepted that way. Question three. Can you describe a situation in which your work was criticized? Um, of course, actually. So I was a receptionist at TVL Staffing in Fairbanks, Alaska for about eight months. Um, and when I first started, the boss came up actually and sat behind me and she said, you know, I'm gonna stay here all day. I wanna make sure you're doing things right. Uh, obviously, I was nervous. Um, you know, the first person that walked through the door, I completely messed up. Um, you know, and she criticized me from the start to the finish. Um, I probably had about a 10 minute interaction with the customer and everything I did was wrong. Um, I had no idea. I've never been a receptionist before, so it was a learning curve. Um, but I think after she did that, it kind of hit me like, oh, this is what it's supposed to look like. This is what she wants me to represent the business by saying this or this. And I fixed it. Um, and within a couple of days, you know, I had it spot on where she actually didn't even have to sit up there with me, um, which was really great. So even though, I was, even though I was criticized, I loved it because I had no idea what I was doing. So when someone criticizes, you know, you can't take it seriously. You have to really um, take it in, process it, be like, okay, this is what, you know, she knows what she's doing. Um, so, and I figured it out and it was awesome and, you know, I mean, I got criticized still all the time and I think it's really important that a business does criticize their employees because that gives them something to improve on. Question four, what irritates you about other people and how do you handle it? Funny, but nothing really irritates me about people, um, especially in the workplace. Everyone is who they are. They're not going to change. So if you're irritated with someone, I think that it's more of a personal thing. Um, you know, if someone was a little too loud and I was irritated with it, you know, maybe I just I have a headache or something. It's not their fault. Um, so I think it's really important to look at, okay, you know, this is who they are. Um, you know, they're not going to change. I need to accept that and move on. Um, you know, nothing, you should never get irritated. I don't think, I, I mean, you can get irritated at work, but I think with certain people, I think that it's not the correct way to look at it. 
Um, and like I said, you know, they're going to be who they're going to be and you can't judge them. You can't tell them to change or anything. So I think it's accepting who you are as well and who they are. Um, and, you know, just working as a team and not creating that drama is super important. Question five, what can you offer us that others cannot? Um, being from Alaska, I'm obviously tough. I've been negative 40, I've been negative 60, you know, maybe even a little colder than that. So I'm tough, um, especially with working with social media. Um, you know, people can be really criticizing, they can be really mean, um, especially if someone posts something, um, you know, pretty bad. Um, it can go viral and can completely change a company's um like, or how people view your company. So I think it's really important that, um, for me, that I'm strong. So, you know, people, I can't get upset what people said or if someone tagged, hey, Brooke sucks, whatever. Oh my gosh, what are we going to do? It's, you know, be calm, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so I think being strong is one of the best things that you can have as a quality for social media. Um, you can't take anything personal. You can't take anything serious. Um, you always have to think that there's going to be a, um, a solution for whatever is posted. And I think that's one quality that definitely makes me stand out. Um, you know, nothing really breaks me. I can pretty much get through anything and everything. And I think that's super important with being a part of a social media team. The last question is, if you can choose any superhero power, what would it be and why? I think my superpower would be to, um, like, go through, or how would I say it, like a time, what is that called, a, um, like a time machine, kind of? No, like a, uh, like a snap my finger and, like, pop somewhere else, like, like, right now I'm in Seattle, boom, I can be in Fairbanks, like that, um, I think with the position, and if someone is like, oh my gosh, like, my feet are hurting in the shoe, um, I really want to return it, but I'm all the way in Florida, boom, I can, be there, look at the situation, pop back to Seattle, get the right shoe for them, pop back, boom, they have what they want. I think that would be really cool. Um, great customer service, obviously, um, but customer service and social media are very connected that way. But I think if I could have a superpower, it would definitely be to, you know, snap my finger and be somewhere else. So thank you so much for watching my mock interview.